as a pastor, I know that you look for different and unique ways to present the gospel and yet maintain its true meaning. Dramatic sermon is exactly that and even more because it gives your people an opportunity to invite family, friends, and associates to a special service at your church. A dramatic sermon that I'm presenting in clips for you today is about when God ran a retelling of the prodigal son. And I decided, why not just ask for my inheritance while I was young? My father was still alive, but I wanted to see what life was like somewhere else. It's got to be more exciting than home. It wasn't the loving thing to do. It was only later that I began to realize the implications of my actions. So, I began to think, it must have sounded like, it must have looked like to my father something like this. Father, I wished you were dead. So I began on a journey. I went to a distant land and started a new life. I went from party to party. I spent money right and left. I only was going to live one time, so I was going to live it up. We would drink cheers, and round and round of drinks, cheering the good life. I thought I was having the time of my life, grabbing all the gusto I could get. But not only did I lose my wealth, but a famine came into the land, and it added to my devastation. My journey left me without the comfort and the pleasure that I had come to pursue. I had no place to go. There was no more wine, women, or partying. Only a sense of depression and hopelessness set in. When my resources ran out, I guess you can guess what happened then. My so-called party friends, they ran out. My dreams, my dreams of a better life ended up to be one long nightmare. My reality check, it came when I found myself hired by a man to feed pigs in his field. There's no Jew in his worst nightmare would ever want to be found feeding hogs. But there I was, standing in the mud with corn husk in my hand willing to eat what I was feeding to the pigs. And there in my humiliation, I began to realize I needed to change the way I thought about myself, about my father, and about my God. I realized I had done things that I thought I'd never do. I had said things I thought I would never say. I even had thoughts that when I processed them, they would scare me. 
inside, released like an animal instinct inside of me. And it had come to paralyze the potential of the image of God that my father had taught me that I was capable of. And he began running to me. He ran to me. It took me by surprise because the tradition in the East, older men did not run, but he ran to me. And being so overwhelmed at his response, I ran to him. I fell at his feet. He took me in his arms. He held my head to his chest. He said, son. He called me son. Do you know I still love you? It was the most awesome experience of my life. I hope that this dramatic sermon will be something that you can use in ministry to your local congregation.